Well, I like to hear you talk about science. I enjoy it because that's where I learn it. Well, I love talking <laughs> about science, but but yes. Well, let me get to because um, it, it's something. It's it's uh, as uh, people might have gathered from my remarks, and it really uh, energized me returning here to the United States. Was this tour in Turkey, um, and and I promised. Uh, folks in Turkey, I would convey a message to you, so I'll just do it here in front of several hundred people. Uh, but in Turkey, for those of you who don't know, and I didn't know that much, I studied uh, foreign policy and international relations in, in college, and I knew of oh, Turkey and some basic events. But I wasn't as familiar uh, with the founding of the Turkish Republic. This is a country that's bigger in population than Great Britain, bigger in population than France. And the founder, a uh, man named Ataturk, uh, he wrote about evolution uh, and required it in school. And this is coming from a, a nation that's 98, 99% Muslim. And because he was such a successful military leader, he had huge, almost George Washington level sway over his society. And he said, we're gonna mandate science uh, education and all forms of education. We're gonna separate religion from government. We're gonna let women, they, were, they elected women to uh, public office earlier than uh, many European uh, nations. So this was the founding of the Turkish Republic, now under threat by this kind of Muslim uh, extremist that's, that's moved into the prime ministership. But those people, they set out a plea, and, they, and I, uh, admittedly, some of that plea is directly to you because I was talking to scientists in, in uh, Turkey, was they want help from the international community and the scientific community because they feel like, unlike some of the more so-called Western nations, they are neglected in our, our media and their struggles are kind of unknown. And um, I know that you've spoken often of issues of Islam, and, uh, but uh, is there a message I could carry back? I know the message they want is that you'll go to Turkey. <laughs> but <laughs> but, but about, that we can carry back to uh, folks who are in these uh, Muslim nations who are really looking for civil liberties and feel under stress. I'm, I'm aware that, that, that Kamal Ataturk uh, was a great secularist and founded the modern state of Turkey on secular principles, famously did so. Um, I wasn't aware that he was such an enthusiast for evolution, and I'm very glad to hear that. Modern Turkey has a problem with a particular remarkably prolific and successful author. I'm not going to mention his name. I don't want to advertise it. Um, but he has produced a series of books, creationist books, uh, which are translated into goodness knows how many languages, and they're given away free to biology teachers all over the world in all sorts of different languages. You walk into any biology department, you walk into any, uh, the, the office of any biology teacher, and you will find these thumping great books uh, from Turkey. Uh, they're picture books, they're beautifully illustrated. By the way, I rather wonder whether the illustrations are violating copyright. And uh, I, I know that um, copyright law is quite stringent on on um, illustrations. So if there's any lawyer here who, <laughs> who would like to uh, look into this question, yeah. you could ruin this man, uh, <laughs> which would do the world a hell of a lot of good. Um, the, the, um, the, the, the way the books are arranged is that there's beautiful lavish colors. On the left-hand side, you have a fossil, and on the right-hand side, you have a modern animal. And in all cases, it says, look at this fossil, look at this modern animal, see, they're the same, therefore evolution hasn't happened. It, 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 page after page after page, you turn the pages. When you actually look at what these animals are, they're preposterous. I mean, they, for example, on, on one of these double pages, the fossil is an eel, the modern animal is a snake. <laughs> uh, in another case, the fossil animal is a caddis fly in amber. You, you know that insects can be very beautifully preserved in, in, in amber. The modern animal is a tide fly for catching trout <laughs> made of feathers. It has a steel hook sticking out of its back end. <laughs> Page after page of this lavish, lavishly expensively produced book distributed free to biology teachers ar ar around the world is filled not only with, with these preposterous uh, mis mistakes, 
but the more general, general mistake of, uh, of, of creationism.